So let's talk about Laravel versus Core PHP. The four points in this episode I'm going to share with you is the functionality, the scalability, the team knowledge, and final the speed. Okay, so these are the things, and let's start the video. So welcome back to Bitfumes, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel, so if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this question is in my mind, but one subscriber has also asked this question, how to choose when to use Laravel and when to code PHP. The answer is very straightforward. If you have a project in which there is not a big functionality this is a basic project in which just uh, like suppose you have a simple blog post and very simple blog post not a high class blog post and you want to build that then i will suggest go with core php and one more thing important is that you have to consider the scalability of the project Suppose you are working on a project and that project is just for the blog and after some time you have created the project successfully and after some time the owner of the website told me that hey I want to extend this project. So then you have some problem because now you have the project in core PHP and you want to scale that so there is two options. One is that you can extend this in core php or you can use laravel but here is now the problem if you are using a laravel to extend your project then you have to write from scratch okay yeah definitely not from exactly the scratch but creating a new laravel project from existing project it's not good so consider the scalability of the project okay this also happens with me uh, i have designed a website and that was simple blog and and by chance i have used the core php okay and i thought that this is the project and that's good and not a scalability option here but after some month the owner of the website came and told me that hey Sarzak, I want some functionality there my users can subscribe to my blog post so I said yeah okay so then I go and code all these things on the core PHP but again after six months he came back and he told me that Sarzak, I want to scale this project to a e-commerce website and I was like what <laughs> you want the e-commerce website in this website I thought this is going to kill me if I go and create that project on core php then that will take lots of time so what i have did i just create everything on the laravel and from that project i make sure the scalability of the project okay so you have to consider the scalability okay the next important thing considering in mind is that the team you are working with so suppose you are you are the head of the project and you want to build a project where uh, the team members you have let's suppose you have five team members including you and three of them are not so good on the level but they are best on php so i think in that case you have to go with the php until these three are not perfect in level next part is speed you know with the core php obviously you can create something just like a framework yeah you can create but that will take lots of time and if you are going to create your own framework then why not use laravel okay so the important thing is speed so if you are on the core php you cannot achieve the speed you get on the laravel because laravel is designed for its performance and the code readability and the debugging process in laravel is so 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 much high compared to that core php that you are going to love the laravel so this is the Thing for core PHP versus Laravel and if you have any doubt feel free to message me on this comment section and even on the Facebook Twitter and Instagram don't forget to subscribe on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can support me on patreon and we will meet in the next episode with again some great knowledge so bye bye